Hello, I'm back. I'm not making a video of my wheel this time. <laughs> this here I'm calling the Redneck Power Source. And first thing I should say is don't try this at home. Unless your home's a mobile home. <laughs> this is the Redneck Power Source. Now I've needed, so I want to try a power source for my wheel, the battery. I agree with everyone, this is not ideal, and I understand the implications and issues that could come about if we, if we don't realize everything that's going on and get distracted by the batteries, what I, which I don't want to happen. So <clears throat> I thought about buying a power source for about mm, five seconds, and then I thought, wow, I could probably make a real quick one. <laughs> so what I did was I got an old power cord it's plugged into the outlet and it comes in and the hot side goes through this uh, dimmer switch and then through a light bulb I have a hundred watt bulb in there right now and then through the uh, secondary of this little audio transformer and back to negative and then on the output side, this is the primary side actually, the um, lesser windings, I should say. More windings, less windings. So we're getting a lower voltage on this side than the 120. It's stepping it down, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. I found the uh, most heavy duty um, bridge rectifier I could find in my assortment of things. Uh, then I put a cat bank on there. It's probably about 5,000 microfarads. And then uh, as an output, I have the two light bulbs from my wheel there. And I have, it's not input, it's, that's from my wheel test. But this is the amp, amps going through these light bulbs. And this is the volts across the caps. I thought this was cool. I might actually be able to use it. So it plugs in the wall. I turn her on. Let's move the meters over. Right here. And we'll get her going. I turn her up. So we have a amp and a half going through. And it's adjustable. So we can turn it up. Our voltage is rising. The lights are lighting up. And there's full power. Full power only gives me 8 volts. I might have to try another transformer um, at 2.3 amps. So it's nifty. It might come in handy with my wheel. I just wanted to pass that along. My <laughs> redneck power source. I'm going to give it a whirl but I'll be able to control perhaps um, inputs to the motor without using a battery, without having to buy something. So there you go. Basically, I'm coming out of the wall. The hot side uh, goes through the um, dimmer switch and the ground wire gets connected to the dimmer switch. Then the hot wires comes through the light bulb through the well it would be the secondary of the transformer the winding with more windings right I'm stepping it down out of the transformer back into the wall to the negative side and then the output is stepped down going through bridge rectifier got some caps on there and some lights I thought it was nifty thought I'd make a video of it pretty cool well, it's Adjustable, the lights going down. There we go. Redneck power source. Again, don't try this at home unless your home is a trailer. Talk to you later.